In this Black Myth Wukong video, I bring you a guide on how you get this amazing secret weapon called the Cloud Pattern Stone Staff. This is a weapon which is tied behind what's described as a kind of secret mini quest, which requires you to collect six Buddha eyes, uh, then use them in a specific place to summon a secret boss, which upon you defeating the secret boss, you unlock and then can craft this weapon. Today guys, I will explain all. How's it going people? My name is DPJ. Now before we go any further to celebrate the release of Black Myth Wukong, I am giving one lucky person a chance to win this game. So to win it, it's as simple as this. Drop a like on this video, comment down below and make sure you are subbed. The more I see you active on my Black Myth Wukong videos, the more of a chance you have of winning. I will pick one person, maybe even two, depending on what mood I am in at the end of the week and announce them and probably Sunday evening's video. So stay tuned for that and good luck everybody. So this guide consists of you having to find six Buddha eyes and then use said eyes to spawn a secret boss. This guide explains all, so let's get into it. So to start, you need to head to the Sangate Village Valley of the Despair Shrine. And from this point, guys, follow the path I take on the screen now to recover your first set of eyes. We do locate the next shrine along the way, just before getting the eyes, and that shrine is called the Squall Hideout. I believe that's pronounced Squall. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong. Who cares? So from the shrine, we now go on to grab two more sets of eyes. The second set is guarded by a few enemies which you will have to take out before collecting said eyes. Now if you head back to that school hideout shrine, from here follow the path I take on screen out of the fourth set of eyes. Again, this one is guarded so you will have to take out the enemies before you're able to collect said eyes.
Okay, so now we're gonna move on to that fifth set of eyes. So we picked up the last ones from here, guys. Head to the location I take on screen now and grab these eyeballs. And lastly guys, let's go and collect the last set of eyes, the sixth set. So follow where I go on screen now guys and do what you gotta do. Okay, so from here guys, you now have to go and fight the stone vanguard boss. So you want to head back to that shrine. Once you are here, follow the path I take on screen now to this boss. Although this boss is a little tanky, it's pretty easy. You just want to try and get behind him as much as possible. About 60 or 70% of his moveset are slow attacks, which you can easily dodge and get behind him to combo his ass. So do what you gotta do and take him out. So upon you defeating this boss, trigger that nearby shrine of the Rock Clash platform, where you may as well rest. What you will also notice as well guys for defeating the stone vanguard boss you can now craft new armor called the gale guard armor which in my opinion looks pretty cool so yes another benefit of this Okay, so from this shrine, you want to head to where I go on screen now, guys, where you can deliver these eyes and spawn in that boss. His name's a tough one. It's called, like, Shigandang, I believe it's pronounced. And to be honest, he's also a pretty easy fight. He's big, slow, and tanky. But yeah, upon you defeating him, you can now go ahead to any shrine and you're able to craft this amazing weapon of the Cloud Pattern Stone Staff. And well guys, it really is as simple as that. And that's how you get this amazing weapon and also a unique arm set along the way. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe and hopefully guys, I will see you on that next one.